advertisements will make me buy infant formula, if I see a beautiful and chubby baby on TV, well fed and smiling. That's the feedback from a mother in Lagos, Nigeria, one of eight, 500 mothers and pregnant women in eight countries interviewed for a new report, How Marketing of Formula Milk Influences So. The report focuses on marketing practices employed by companies that make up the $55 billion a year global infant formula business. The issue is far from new. In 1981, the World Health Assembly released the International Code of Marketing and Breast Milk Substitutes, a public health agreement whose goal was to stop the aggressive and inappropriate marketing of breast milk substitutes, according to WHO. The code was developed as a global public health strategy to ensure that mothers are not discouraged from breastfeeding and that substitutes are used safely if needed. The report stresses that some babies do need formula because of mother or baby health issues, milk production challenges or work-related challenges. WHO says its position on breastfeeding is critical because of long-standing evidence that exclusive breastfeeding for six months after birth, if possible, and for up to two years or beyond protects against child malnutrition and many childhood illnesses and health issues. Yet according to WHO, only 44% of babies under six months are exclusively breastfed. Ironically, the history of activism against the aggressive marketing of formula may be one reason why the practice persists. Gerard Hastings, Emeritus Professor at the Institute of Social Marketing at the University of Stirling in Scotland and a member of WHO Advisory Group for the report, says a key challenge to ending formula company marketing is that people think it was solved. In the new report, WHO notes that Globa Hastings, lead author of a 2020 study on infant formula marketing tactics called Selling Second Best, says one way the firms have moved the issue out of the public sphere is by frequently targeting mothers directly. This report shows very clearly that formula milk marketing remains unacceptably. Regulations on exploitative marketing must be urgently adopted and enforced to protect children's health. Dr. Anna Langer, Professor of the Practice of Public Health and Coordinator of the Dean's Special Initiative in Women and Health at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, says the report.